We start with cricket. The Pakistani cricket team arrived in Guyana for the start of yet another series between the two rivals. The team is being led by Misbah Ul Haq. The West Indies will be looking to reverse their record of one-day series defeats against the Pakistanis. West Indies last won a series between the two teams in 1991, some 22 years ago, and will be trying to maximize home advantage. The last series between the two in the Caribbean ended 3-2 in Pakistan's favor. The West Indies, meanwhile, will be keeping an eye on the India-Sri Lanka match and Hurricane Chantal before heading to Guyana for the first match on Sunday. Sri Lanka must beat India for the West Indies to advance to the finals of the Tri-Nations tournament, now in progress. And in local cricket, Demerara beat Barbies by 84 runs in the finals to capture the GTM on the 1950-over tournament. The game was played at the Everest Cricket Ground and the match was reduced to 42 overs because of rain. Demerara made 303 for 6 with Brian Sattar, scoring 113. Cordell Mars then took 5 for 41 to shoot Barbies out for just 119 in just over 29 overs. The teams were congratulated by GCB President Drew Bahadur, who also thanked GTM for their support. I know despite the weather, which was very adverse, I can safely say that I'm reasonably satisfied with the performance. Um, we are looking forward at the GCB for continued support from GTM. And I want to say to those who might move on to the Guyana selection, best of luck. GTM's life manager, Ramona Singh, also committed GTM to continued sponsorship of the Under-19 tournament. As Mr. Sanasi said, GTM has been a long-standing supporter of cricket for over 30 years. And let me say this afternoon that GTM is proud to be, such, be part of such, such an event. And we remain committed to development of sports and cricket as a whole. Brian Sattar was named Man of the Final for his century. The Demerara squad also captured the three-day trophy. The Guyana Cricket Board also released the names of the 14 players to represent Guyana in the regional under-19 tournament, along with six standbys. And to powerlifting, Guyana's powerlifters once again stamped the authority in the Caribbean with an outstanding display to capture the team title. Guyana copped both the men and women's titles with Vijay Rahim, Winston Stobie, Randolph Morgan and Colin Chesney all collecting gold. The lone female, Kimberly Mars Lunk, also kept the record golden for Guyana in the 84 kilogram category. Then in the Pan American Championships, which was run off at the same time, Guyana put in a creditable display to finish third jointly with Mexico. And the football, the Intermarket Futsal Tournament, which was to get started today at the newly refurbished Sports Hall, received a big blow according to O'Neill Durant. That today is the day we were to start this five-a-side futsal at the sports hall. But the sports hall, they haven't released it as yet to us. We are still negotiating with the, with the, the, the supervisors of, the, of that entity. This was the third time the event has been cancelled due to the unavailability of the sports hall. And we end with chess. Senior national champion Tafin Khan swept the competition to claim the first prize in the trophy stall chess tournament, which came to an end on Sunday afternoon. Maria Thomas, who was the lone female to contest, came second with Raymond Singh third. Anthony Drayton won this junior section of the tournament. The best beginner was 13-year-old Rajiv Munishwar of Queen's College. Omar Britton was once again adjudged the best under-16 player. Ron Motilal copped the prize for the best on the 19 player. And with that, we've come to the end of our Diamond Mineral Water Sports Roundup. I'm Raul Collins.